All right. Hello there, ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and Tower of God enjoyers. Welcome back to another Fabled Monday and the prophecy that says we will watch and read Tower of God every Monday to you, the lovely audience. It is I, the Huarvayun future husband, the bomb lover and enjoyer, and the great hypothesizer. And with me, as always, I have my compatriot in crime, the best, but not really the best, but one of the great guides on this magnificent journey, the holy hairline, the boy next door. Yo. So, boy next door, would you mind telling us what happened last time on Tower of God Z? Uh, we, I keep getting those two confused, Desa or Deja, one of them. <laughs> I think it's Deja. We learned that he's a clown. <laughs> yeah, he was he funny. Has, he has pictures of himself and his, like, self-portraits he's in a, his house. He's a blowhard. Yeah, he's just upset that Hell Joe took the whole thing from him or something like that. <laughs> but, um, anyways, he, but more importantly, he knows where the thorn is, right? Yes, the fragment. And he's yes. offering to give it or give the location of it to whoever takes out Hell Joe. Yes. And I like how they asked him to, like, oh, isn't this like, he, he said, like, oh, yeah, you have to do like a challenge to get to the thorn. And they're like, oh, okay, what's the challenge? And he's like, oh, it's to kill Hell Joe. Like get you know get rid of him, and they're like, oh, isn't this challenge kind of just you trying to like solve the problem? And he's like, yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> just like trying to do he's his. Like, I, I hate him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> his brother. Yep, anyway, yeah. as not. So uh, is there anything I else? I remember a lot more. I uh, think. What did we leave off on? Because even though it's been a week, I feel like it's been like a month. And I'm sleep deprived too, so I really don't remember. Let's let's scroll down a little bit. Let's take a little sneak peek mm -hmm. to see what we're missing. Oh shit! Oh, I forgot! I forgot! This is what was happening. All right. Okay, okay. Let's go back up. Um. Okay, yeah. So we see that. Um. We see that Yura was basically getting almost kind of punished by uh karaka because karaka is not as stupid as we think karaka was like yo what the <clears> fuck <throat> are you doing like i know i know fucking Ra rahel went to run off somewhere to like you know go be with bomb oh also wasn't there a whole thing with bomb and rahel how like mm -hmm. rahel's gonna also participate in the challenge for some reason correct yeah they're both there and they're both participating which is so stupid. Um, it's so also dumb. white and Croc are in the area, right? So yes, they are also looking. Yes, find bomb and the thorn. I guess. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm actually so hard now. I'm so excited for this episode. Oh yeah, now. actually, I think they're more interested in the souls, right? Because the soul room is where the job. Well, they don't even know the thorns there. That's the issue. Yeah. I think once they find out the, the thorn souls, there, so. yeah, once they see the thorns there, like maybe they figure it out. I think that's mm -hmm. when they're gonna be like, okay, hold up, fuck the souls, like we're going for the thorn. Mm -hmm. So I'm we'll actually, see. go ahead. I feel like I feel like White cares more about the souls than the thorn, but Karaka might be different. Yeah, I was about to ask that actually. So, in terms of like, <clears throat> I guess like power or like some sort of a boost, if you're White, what will give you like more of a incentive, the souls or the thorn? Probably the souls, right? Because the souls is like, I don't know. It seems more uh, tempting, right? Because you don't know how many are there. Like, yeah, you know the thorn's strong, but then the souls, like, that could be like a huge source of power depending on how much, how many souls are there. This is like everyone who's ever been to the floor of death, right? All Ooh. the souls are stored there. But wouldn't you also say that, like, isn't the thorn kind of like a multiplier? Where, like, if he gets the um, thorn, like, all the souls kind of just increase in value at that point? It might be. It might be. I don't know. I, I guess another thing would just be that, like, I don't think White is very interested in the thorn yet. Or at least he doesn't really know too much about it. Or at least it seems like he doesn't know too much about it, right? Because when Bomb was using it, he didn't really make much of a fuss about it. And, yeah, you know, White's biggest thing is just collecting souls. So, obviously, he's <laughs> going to go for what he's known for going. Like, what he's... 
Like, even if, let's say, the Thorn was a better match for him, he'd probably still go for the Souls just because of his personality and his lack of knowledge on the, mm -hmm. the subject. See. Uh, also, like, there's there are people who are incompatible with the, the the Thorn, right? Like, we've... I think there's been, like, a note saying that, like, not everyone can just pick it up and use it, right? Really? I forgot about that. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure at some point they mentioned something like that. And I mean, for example, Bomb needed to get, like something to hold it right like he, yeah yeah not he to say to that he probably Jinsung. couldn't use it on his own but like he needs to get like they, just in it. case they yeah. yeah they they set him up for it they they put him on the path to success mm -hmm. i see so who's to say that white would just be able to pick it up and start using it that's true i guess <clears throat> i mean i think wasn't the whole reason white was going with rahel is because rahel basically told him like hey i'll lead you to the thorn hold up was that it? That might have been it, actually. Wait, hold up. I think you're right. I thought I the whole reason he that. was with her, because she she can't blackmail him. Like she yeah, can't I force she him did to do anything. Yeah, tempt him with something. Yeah, it she was tempted the thorn? him with the thorn. I it was something else. No, I think it was the thorn. She's like, oh, I want you to have a thorn fragment. Oh, maybe he is interested in the thorn. Which then he makes me question. So. It makes me question at that point. After he gets the thorn fragment with Rahel's help. Unless Rahel double crosses him, which I feel like she was probably going to do all along, but just in case she doesn't or she fucks up, once White gets the thorn, what's to stop him from just killing her? Because he's obviously not going to take too kindly to the way she's like doing things, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. But that's just I don't me. Know. It could be like a Daniel situation where like Rachel gets away with certain things with White just because of the fact that she's been useful in the past. Assuming that she does lead him to the Thorn success. Man, White is just so crazy. He's so unpredictable. I don't know what the fuck he he's going to do. He really yeah. just does things based off a of fucking whim. <laughs> I fucking love White, man. He does what he fucking wants. Like, it's mm -hmm. so good. But anyway, um, yeah, no, there's not going to be a gate. <laughs> not yet, at least. Um, thank you, Yorgos. Um, anyway... I'm trying to think what else happened. So yeah, I think Karaka was about to clap the shit out of Yura, be like, yo, if you don't tell me what's going on, like, I'm going to kill you. And then fucking God appeared. And remember what I asked yeah. you? Do you remember the, the last thing I asked you about this encounter? Uh, yes, I remember a while back, a few episodes, we could show this you were now. mentioning. Uh, is Karaka going to recognize Yurek? You were saying yes. something like that. And like, what's going to happen when these two meet each other? And yes. we're going to find out. Dude, <laughs> and I I'm think... Karaka, I think I can predict the next page because I remember, like, right when the chapter ended, I'm pretty sure Karaka was like, Who are you? Yeah, who are you? <laughs> right? Yep. So, yo. So Karaka does not know. But knowing Karaka's personality, he's going to try and challenge Yurik. Yurik is going to fucking spank him so hard, his armor is going to fly off. Like, there's no mm -hmm. way. Either that or one of these little, like, pinhead Larrys is going to be used as, like, a job. Like, they're going to join freaking, um, uh, Yo Kim. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so ready. But anyway, um, in other news though, for you the fans, the lovely, lovely fans, which we love so much, we also updated the tier list. We included I, or A, however you want to say your name, and we moved some people around. So there's no longer anyone in, um, fuck, I forgot which tier that is. But there's no one in like one of the tiers, but we moved from some people around and A is now in the tier list. I hope she's going to stick around, because if she does, she might get raised up. But for now, she's sitting comfortably below rack. So, that's that. But anyway, uh, let's begin. So, we are on chapter 246. So, let's begin. Oh my god, he's here. I'm so fucking ready. I'm so fucking ready. I just followed some perfume scent and ran down here. And there happens to be a damsel in distress. Yo, little does Eric know, right? Like, she's <laughs> actually evil. Like, everyone here is evil. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, my God. Look at him. He looks so cool. I knew it. I'm destined to be every girl's hero, aren't I? So, I'm assuming because Eric's saying this, he doesn't have a woman, right? Uh-huh. I feel like he's saying it kind of sarcastically, though, too. I feel like he, there's no way he's saying this, like, dead serious. You know what I mean? Well, but like you're saying this cute. with a little, like, sarcasm to it. You don't think yeah. you're as cute? No, no, I agree. But it's, like, it seems silly to say that, like... You know what I think? Us, you know what I mean? You know what I think? I think I'm going to make my first hypothesis of the night here. 
I think Urek is keeping his options open. I think he's putting it out there as a joke, but if Yura plays into it, I think he'll accept it. As you should, yeah. There's always the bro, I was just playing, bro. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You always gotta put the what if there. Yeah. But unless. But anyway, I have a question here. So Eric's eyes here, are they red? They look pretty red, right? I was just thinking, he looks kind of hot. Like, I was about to say that, too. Like, he's not a ha, right? He's, like, Mazino is, is his real name, not right? Not that we know of. Yeah, he's a irregular, yeah. Because wouldn't he's it kind of make sense, too, from, like, his style of, like, just being a brute? <clears throat> like, he would kind of mm -hmm. match up with the haas? Yep, that would fit our description. Yeah. And also, yes, Yorgo, on stream, uh, we do the readings. At least every Monday. Who are you? Yon Wang Nan knows, and Wang Nan knows. He's like, oh shit. Wait, how does Wang Nan know this? Huh? Wang knows there during Zagena, I believe. He was. Oh yeah, yeah, he was, cause he was with Viol. Yeah. Oh my god! Look at him. He's about to take his cock out. Urek Mazino. Slave in utero, Tower of God, the Hell Train, the Floor of Death. 15. Also, I forgot if I said it before, but chapter 246. Rick Mazino, what's that beast doing here? Huh? Oh, aren't you that companion of Viol that I saw before? Nice to meet you. What's up, my friend? Yo! <laughs> Wait, so is, is it supposed to be a secret that, that Wang Nam was with Viol or no? Um... Perhaps. I mean, he does seem to be hiding his face. Oh my god. So is Eric kind of like blowing his cover here? I, I thought they already knew. I feel... I, I think everyone knows except for Karaka. Okay, because Karaka's new. Right? Yeah, so if, okay. if Karaka knew that, then it could be a problem. Oh we'll god. Okay. Don't act like you know me. I'm scared. And we're not friends. Yo, Wang Nan is shitting himself right now. Because Wang Nan knows what, what Ura can do, right? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, dude. I love Masa. Look at how happy he is here. He's like, yo, what's up, man? And he doesn't realize, like, who he's near. He's near White and fucking Karaka. But he does Like, that's nothing to him. These are ants to him. <clears throat> does he know Viol? Who the hell is he? Dude, I hope Karaka tests this gangster. I hope Karaka learns a lesson he'll never forget. Oh my god! I'm so fucking ready! I'm so excited. I love when <laughs> stuff like here. this happens. <laughs> There's Holy a lot shit. of big characters. Here. Dude, I love this. Like, you don't understand, Asian. This is one of the biggest reasons why I love One Punch Man. Like, I love One Punch Man because mm -hmm. they don't realize what they're dealing with. Like... Like, once they figure it out, I can't wait to see their faces. Like, right now, let, let, let me just read what White's saying here. I feel like I've seen that guy somewhere before. But that's strange. Yo, I feel like once White figures out who he is, because White's going to know. I feel like with how old White is, he has to know. And once he figures it out, he is going to drop the fattest load in his white ass pants. And they're not going to be white anymore. They're going to be stained brown. Seeing that he came here alone, he must clearly be even more powerful than a ranker. And yet, I don't sense any power coming from him. Please, please try to fucking attack him, please. It looks like that anklet works. 30 minutes earlier. Sky of Floor of Death. Mazino, put this on before you go inside. Hmm? What's that? An anklet? Yes, it's an anklet that will prevent other people from... Oh, nah. He's hiding his power, Adrian. What if he Why takes it that? off? Well, obviously he doesn't want to, like, I don't know, startle anyone. Mm -hmm. it, it actually makes me question, because in a normal floor, right? <clears throat> if he was, like, just, like, prancing around like he's doing now, like, the rank... Yeah, or not that would the ranker, make more sense. Well, the rank... Yeah, like, it would make more sense to wear it, but... Not only the rankers would get involved, but the administrator would get involved too, right? Mm -hmm. Or at least they would be keep an eye on him, you know. Okay, at the very least. And he's not like he's not like Enryu, where he can just like fight the administrator. I don't know. Okay, uh, so I, it's on I, the I, table. It's on the table. I'd lean on no just for now, yeah, because he's never attempted it, you know. 
Also, I have a question about that too. So I was wondering about that. Did Enryu like casually kill the administrator? Or what do What do you think? With I that? mean, based on the story, it seemed pretty casual. It seemed so like you're, he didn't So you're telling me this fucking eldritch creature horror that was transforming into like different beings, like just got casually smacked around by Enryu? Mm hmm. Yep. This is fucking crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> I had it transported here by air specialty so that Garam wouldn't recognize you. Oh, shit. Oh, so he has, a, he has some history with Garam. Yo, why is he naked? With this anklet on, you will seem like a regular person with less power than a ranker. We had to take off his pants to put it on. Yeah, we had to see that. We had to see that fact. <laughs> Although your power won't actually decrease, of course, you're so powerful that the anklet will just will break even if you use just five percent of your power so be careful okay okay is so, it gonna break you know what what siu is doing here uh-huh he's basically showing that I, i'm pretty sure this is what it's gonna be this is my second hypothesis of the night he is going to show that urek is going to be able to manhandle White and Karaka using not even 5% of his power. Think about that for a second. That's scary. Mm -hmm. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds what? me of the stupid meme with Joe Biden. Oh, He's yeah. like, oh, you I'm did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have a new GIF idea now if we need one. Charging up the Biden blast. The Biden blast. Anyway, <laughs> who the fuck is this jobber over here? <clears throat> but does it have to be silver? That dis fuck. That design makes me look like a stalker. Yeah, it actually does. I thought it was like an anklet, like uh, like a GPS anklet. <laughs> yeah, like house arrest. Yeah. I like Eric's face here too. He's like, why you gotta make me wear that? Yes. The associate leader said that it has to be this design. Doesn't it suit you perfectly? Ah, oh, the boss gave me one more message to deliver to you. It's very valuable. You do not break it. Rom will dump you if she ever- Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. He's going out with Garam? What? Wait, but he was just about to hit on- on fucking Yura. Wait a minute. Options open? Adrian, is he a philanderer? <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, honestly speaking, like, if he was to philander around, right? Mm -hmm. This is where, historically speaking, at least for my culture as a Greek man, uh, you know, the, the people in my mythology that had power, aka Zeus, you know, he was the most powerful, so he would cheat the most because who's going to stop him? So I kind mm -hmm. of am going to transfer that here to Eric. If Eric started cheating on his woman... Who's gonna stop him? And Ryu. <laughs> oh shit, okay, yeah, maybe. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, apparently he's going out with uh, Garam, which is insane. I'm a little jealous, honestly, not gonna lie. Ugh. Damn it. Those bastards. Cursing my love life. Still, it's a pretty good handicap. Look at what he's doing to the ground. So right now we're only going to see a nerfed version of Urek. 5%. <laughs> Less than 5%. He Remember, That's he can't go 5. Low. If he goes 5, yeah. it breaks. 4.9. If I have to fight these losers, 5% <clears throat> of my power will be plenty. Look what he's doing to the fucking ground. Oh my god. Huh? Suddenly his power... This is it. Look, look, just him walking towards them is like activating the danger sirens. Now Karak is like, oh shit. This is dangerous. World of darkness. Black Goral's horn whip. Ah, I stand corrected. He's unarmed? I overestimated you guys. At your level, I won't even need 5%. Oh my fucking god! Adrian, he's so crazy. He's so fucking... And Karak is a ranker, right? Mm hmm And is Karak considered, like, a regular ranker or, like, a high ranker? I mean, he's a slayer. 
so he's pretty up there. But I don't know if he's like a hundred percent high ranker status. I don't really know how thug people rank in the rankings. Like, are they honestly ranked like everyone else, or yeah, are they, they actually like showing hidden, their skills too? Like under yeah. the radar, yeah. So hard to say. This is why I have a question. Um, but I mean, yeah. So concerning Karaka, I'm trying to remember the question. Mm -hmm. I actually just forgot it. Fuck. Um. Yeah, I forgot it. Fuck. What were you gonna say? Okay, I was just gonna say like we can kind of say that Karaka is like around Yuri's power. Like they're kind of like in the same ballpark. Yuri's it's probably insane. stronger though. Oh, oh, I remember. I remember the question now. So. In terms of what's considered a high ranker, is there like a cutoff for that? Like, is it top like five hundred, top one thousand? I think high ranker is like top two hundred is where they call it. Okay, so if you're top two hundred, you're high ranker. Yeah. Okay. One percent will be plenty. Oh. So, how would you like to fight this one, dude? He's giving them options. He's so cocky. Oh my god. What if at this point, Adrian, because I don't know if they're going to do this, but at this point, what if they just, like, don't want to fight? Will Eric just kill them, or will he, like, let them go? If they, like, just uh, say, like, no, we're not If they give fighting. him what he wants, right? Which is probably, like, the release of Yura. The release of the pretty lady? Yeah. Oh my. He's saving right now. I guess. Yeah, I honestly am questioning what the fuck he's doing over here. Is he really just here to save Yura? My finger. Oh, dear dare you don't be so arrogant this is not such an easy target baby if you can withstand this finger huh huh i'll give you around six wings wait what what is going on here oh is this sideways yeah oh fuck you can see Eric standing right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I see him. It's like to the it's to the right now. Like it's clockwise instead of counter. Usually SIU puts mm -hmm. it counterclockwise. This time yep. he did like the opposite. Wait, so yo, the, so he's using one finger. Mm -hmm. So what is he talking about the six wings things here? What is what is that? Uh, it might have to do with like the wing tree. The wing tree? Yeah, his symbol. Of the oh. oh, you mean on his back? Yeah, he's saying, oh. like, I'll let you join if you're able to withstand it, I think is what he's referring to. I, I don't think he knows that Karaka is part of Bug. Okay. I think he just thinks it's just a random ranker. Okay. So I have a question here, then. Wolhike Song, are they allies or enemies with Bug? They're neutral. They're neutral. Do they mm -hmm. know about each other, though? Uh, that's a good question. I don't really know. I, I guarantee they do, but I feel like Eric isn't a good representation because he probably doesn't feel like follow up much on the politics he's probably just like does whatever he thing. feels like yeah yeah <laughs> wow. but if you were to ask like his butler dude who seems like more intelligent maybe he'd know wait you're saying Eric's not intelligent he is but just <laughs> only when he cares about it you know what i mean yo i fucking love Eric. oh my god wait hold on let me let me see something do we have him on the tier list uh, oh no, nah, so. we don't. Okay, we gotta rectify that after this episode. We we mm -hmm. definitely have to rectify that. And yeah, Enryu. This is the Eric and, episode. And Enryu too. I forgot about those two. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's something we gotta remember. But um, oh my fucking god, dude, this is so fucking cool. I love this shit, dude. Karaka's literally getting blasted. He's like, what the fuck? Oh my god. I feel like SIU is sort of like Michael Bay. I feel like he just uses explosions so much now yeah where it's like they're losing their meaning to me like it's not even that impressive it's like okay another explosion the most impressive thing i've seen like i think recently has been like yuri's like big attack against karaka i was just thinking that yeah kranos yeah or the the flower the, yeah the flower thing because that thing was huge like that thing was like the whole floor mm -hmm. like she was altering reality with the fucking reality stone if you two go to Hell Joe's castle, I'll lead the way. Oh shit, this is the jaw. Yeah, so it's the jaw. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you go through the entrance. Dude, why are they blue balling us? I want to see more fucking Eric, man. Fuck. So he's only using 1% of his power right now. And he's going to manhandle Karaka like a baby. Oh my god. Anyway. Uh, the entrance behind me 
You can enter Heljo's castle. Not even Heljo knows about the Shinsu path connected to this entrance. This guy looks like a fucking vampire. The Shinsu path connected to this entrance is a secret path made by Deja and Dasa. And it's connected not only to Heljo's castle, but also to several places in the South City. Right now, it's our best way of infiltrating his castle. Then we should leave immediately. What? Without any kind of backup plan? My other companions may be in danger if Yuri is there. I don't know why, but I'm going to have to hurry, Rahel. So you've managed to stay alive this far. Fuck. So you've managed to stay alive this far with that stupid bravery of yours. Is this jo- fuck. I don't know who's like saying this shit. Um, Looks like Rachel. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. Does this Joe guy have any weakness? We can't just barge in there without a plan. Uh, sorry. We're so afraid of him that there's no way for us to know- Wow, they're pussies! He Yo, can kill them. Wait, he can't kill them. Wait, he could kill them? Yeah, didn't they say that he can- No. Or that he can damage them or something like that? No, he could trap them, because that's what he did he to- That's what he did to Dasa, right? They said that he has a power. Didn't he eat one of his own, like, people? Mm. Don't you remember that? In the previous chapters? One of his own people were talking shit to him, Hal Joe. And he, like, bit him, and it, like- Yeah, he turned it, like, to the mosquito face. That was creepy yeah. as shit, yeah. So he can damage the immortal people, which is why people are afraid of him. Okay, and that's, like, I guess a perk of being the top hole master. Yeah, he can, like, break the spell, essentially. Crazy. Similar to how Yuri can. Okay. Also, we don't know what's going on with Yuri right now, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. However, if you free Dasa from his imprisonment and get him to join you, and then borrow the power of the Jaw's eyes, there may be a way. Wait, so at this point, if if Hell Joe can kill people who are immortal, why didn't he kill Dasa? That's a good question. Hmm, I see, I see. The Jaws eyes? Yes, from the moment that the Jaw and the Saw saw Enryu with their own eyes, they have possessed mis mysterious abilities. Okay, hold on for a second. So you're telling me that just from the simple act of witnessing Enryu in action, they got fucking Keke Genkai eye powers. Hmm. I'm curious if they, if Enryu, like, specifically granted it to them, that it wasn't just from looking at them. No, because it, it says when they the saw him. One. Right. So when they saw him, it happened. But, but didn't everyone else but die? It probably happened with Enryu's consent, right? Well, well, I don't know if it's with his consent or more like he just didn't care, right? Because so here's my hypothesis. Okay, let's um, hear the Adrian hypothesis. My hypothesis. Yeah, let's oh, hear shit. this. Yeah, I'm like, rub, rub, okay, anyways. So I think <laughs> Enryu, after he tore tore up the floor of death, didn't want everyone to die who didn't escape when he told people to escape, right? So you like, think he, he was being a nice him. guy. So I think he intentionally gave the leaders to San Deja powers uh -huh. that they believe, you know, that, that they received after looking at him. So he just, like, passed it on to them, like, in a very casual way i guess or like you know okay. it just kind of popped up onto them which gave them the ability to save the floor of death you know creating the spell okay the, immort the immortality spell that's what i'm guessing that he like he gave that to them as like a last thing before he pieced out okay because if it was just from looking at them then that means everyone that looked at him should have gotten powers but this is uh, where which would include the people that fought him but this is where the people that fought him and the people that looked at him they all died not all of them, no. Well, the ones that didn't die, weren't the they running away? The people that fought him died. The people that... He told everyone to leave, but there's still a very good chance that a lot of people either didn't leave because they didn't believe him, or uh -huh. they didn't leave because they didn't... Um, uh, they didn't make it in time or something like that. You know what I mean? And those people aren't at fault, right? Because they weren't necessarily against Enryu. Enryu only wanted to fight the people who were, like, heretics or, like... Yes. You know, the, I don't remember what they're, he said exactly, but the people who were, like... Worshipping yeah. Jihad. Yeah, yeah, There were some neutral parties there that wouldn't leave. I mean, another thing is, like, this is your home, right? Like, if someone just tells you to leave, you're probably not going to leave straight up. So I think it makes sense that he didn't want to kill those people. So I think, I mean, yeah, when you explain it like that, I, I guess there's more credence towards it. But 
the, so you kind of give him like a way out. The one thing so, I would say is like this, right? If you're there, I don't think seeing him from the beginning counts. I think seeing him while he's using his abilities in combat is what they mean. And I think the John and the Sa are the only ones who are like strong enough to really witness that and kind of live to tell the tale. Because I think mm -hmm. everyone else in the vicinity when he was fighting the administrator is probably going to die just from the combat alone, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what you're saying is there weren't a lot of survivors to begin with. I think the only or two survivors there were that actually looked at him while he was fighting was the Sa and the mm -hmm. Ja. So everyone else either mm -hmm. ran away or died. That could be true, mind. considering it was such a long time ago. Because think about this, right? I'm thinking... I'm thinking they didn't, they probably didn't die in the moment, but maybe they're the only two left because of the fact that they were bestowed this power. And also because they're, like, the leaders, right? Like, they have to yeah. be pretty strong to be the leaders. But, um, sure. like, think about this, right? If Yuri and, and what's-his-face, Karaka, were fighting, and they were concerned that by them fighting, they might kill the, you know, at least Yuri was concerned about it, Karaka didn't give a shit that, you know, she was concerned that, oh, if I go too far out, like, you know, if I go all out, I might hit the regulars, right? And Evan had to, mm -hmm. you know, protect them and everything. Imagine how a fight with a literal administrator would go. You think the people around mm -hmm. that are going to be able to look at that? Well, I don't think the administrator wants to hurt the people either. The administrator's whole purpose. Well, whether he wants to or not, I don't think he has a choice of, you know, right. like shielding the attacks. Yeah, he's not going to shield Enryu's attacks, but Enryu probably isn't aiming for the people either. So I seem like both. It seems like both parties that are fighting here are are probably actively not trying to hit any bystanders, right? Sure, but look at the level of power we're talking about here. Sure, but I mean, where there comes power, there's also control too, to a certain extent, right? I don't know. What we're talking about this shit, like again, Agent Yuri's power was like the whole tower. And even then, she had to get Evan to kind of, like, protect them, right? Well, we don't know. So we can't say That's for sure. Or, That's you know, true. We can't say yes or we can't say no. We just maybe they'll explain it in the next panel, too. Who, who the fuck knows? As they usually do. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's see. Especially Dejah's far-seeing eyes, allowing him to see the future. Once, when Joe invaded the South City... Thanks to the power of Dejah's eyes and the help of a mysterious woman, why are there traps everywhere I go? He was unable to advance any further and had to retreat back to the South City. Wait, so, so at this point he tried to um. Wait, no, he. So this is the South. So wait, wait, wait. Which city did Hell Joe take over? The South City? Not South, considering that he doesn't own it right now, right? But look what I'm it just says. using context clues. I don't remember, but he, had to he probably owns back. North. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, exactly. That's what tripped me up. He had to retreat back oh. to the South City. So I guess he has South and he doesn't have North. But this is also South. There must be a typo somewhere. Okay, yeah, fuck, Jesus. Yeah. We have the power of the Jaws Eyes, which brought you here. I'm sure that it will help in defeating Joe. It brought me here? You mean, Hockney? Go, sister! Yo, yo, this fucking goober, man. Go, sister, mm -hmm. you can do it! This guy's like a senile old man in his, like, little cave cheering on Yuri. <laughs> Kill Hell Joe! Excuse me, Lord Deja? Hmm. What? Um, why do you call me your eyes? What? Obviously. It's because those two eyes of yours are mine. What? Oh, and I remember last time I asked you, like, how does Hockney not know this? But Hockney lost his memory, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. You lost your eyes and came to this place. Your friend came to see me and begged me to give back your eyes. But you were already immortal, so I couldn't restore your eyes. And I agreed to give you my eyes in exchange for doing me a favor. Wait, what the fuck? Your friend came to see me. You think the friend is Mata? Sounds like it to me, but I mean, who else could it be? Hmm. Do you really not remember anything? Mata? I... I don't. Hmm. That's strange. 
You managed to bring the savior here in that state of yours. Have you also forgotten my message to bring me the princess of the deep colored sea? I definitely once remembered that message. That's why I told it to Emily. But I don't remember anything like that happening to me. Hmm. The oh, wait, yeah, fuck. The then, do you know who stole my eyes? Your eyes? How can you not remember that? I heard hell I heard that hell Joe took your eyes. Huh? When you refused to cooperate in helping him find the thorn fragment, Joe was enraged and supposedly plucked out your eyes. Wow, that's fucking morbid. Joe tried to use to use those eyes to find the thorn fragment but failed. Your friend rescued you and brought you to me. How can you not remember any of that? You really are strange. Wait, I'm so confused here. Hold up, hold up. So, mm -hmm. so did Hockney have the future eyes from the get-go? I don't know. I mean, it seems to imply that there's something special with his eyes, right? Before because, he got the Jaws. Yeah, the because... The Jaws are the ones that have future confirmed. Exactly, because if Joe was uh, upset that Hockney wasn't going to help him, Joe is like, okay, well, I'll take your eyes, I'll do it myself. Which is why mm -hmm. he plucked out his eyes. But at that point, he plucked out his eyes. Then Mata, or, you know, then uh, Hockney's quote unquote friend brings him to the jaw, and the jaw gives mm -hmm. him his eyes. But his eyes are the ones that could see the future. Mm -hmm. So this, this doesn't this doesn't make any sense. Hold on to it. I think we just keep reading. Okay. Yo, look at Mata. Yo, Mata really is like a. I should. Oh my god, I should have put Mata on the sus list. Okay, if if like he if nothing or sorry if not all of it gets revealed, we're putting him on the list too. We're putting him on the sus list. Mata, hmm, Hockney. I heard from Lord Deja that I've also been here before. And also remember last episode I told you like the way Mata like spoke to Deja was like he knew him already. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think it's all coming together now. Yeah before with me though it was true yeah i brought you here after joe stole your eyes i thought that you might be able to restore your eyes in the spirit room that's what i hoped when you and i first met we were joe's subordinates wait what they were evil they were conehead what after conquering the south city some okay, point so Joe owns south yeah okay after Come conquering on. the south city at some point joe started looking for something called a thorn fragment just like now i was a regular parasite who was in charge of guarding the outside entrance i don't like that mata refers to himself as a parasite so like mm -hmm. is he actually like an insect or is that just how he's referring to himself well, as the strict definition of a parasite is something that controls another host's body and that's literally what he does right so he's not a parasite in the sense that we the see it like a tick he's, okay he's like parasite in the sect that he controls that's his like guardian ability. things yeah okay mm -hmm. i received an order from the top to take you and go look for the thorn fragment Oh my god, that's- I fucking hate this shit. This shit is so ugly. Apparently, you had become one of Joe's subordinates after happening to find a thorn fragment before. Wait, what? My mission was to carry you around in my giant leech and look for the thorn fragment. You were an unusual guy who liked to draw, and you always told me that you wanted to leave the floor of death. Your wish was to travel the outside world with friends and draw pictures. Hell Joe promised that he would let you leave if you found the thorn fragment. So just to like consolidate my knowledge here, Joe is able to leave, or not maybe leave, but he's able to send stuff outside of the tower, or sorry, the floor of death, right? Like send stuff? Yeah. Because he was the one who smuggled the first thorn fragment out, right? Mm -hmm. Through Fug. Yeah. So if he can smuggle that out, why can't he smuggle himself out? Because if he smuggles himself out, he dies. Oh, yeah, 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 because the... Yeah, yeah, okay, I was stupid, yeah. Anyway. It was probably a downright lie, but we became a team and looked around for the thorn fragment, and we ended up finding it. 
Huh? But after seeing it, you became sort of strange. You said that the picture which you had drawn there contained your soul. You went to see Joe and said that you wouldn't help him anymore. Joe got extremely angry and then plucked out your eyes and stole your picture. Yo, Joe really looks like fucking Akka, man, with that skirt. I don't know why he's wearing mm -hmm. the skirt. So that's the purpose of the eyes. It wasn't that his eyes could see the future. It's that Joe thought that his eyes could, like, I guess, kind of see the future, but in a different way through his art. He thought that the eyes were the power when he drew the, the art. I'm so confused. Right? Because isn't the picture what the key to finding the thorn is that what he's saying no after seeing it you became so strange you said that the picture which you had drawn contained your soul that just i think is like an after effect of uh of them finding oh. the thorn okay i don't think it explains anything yet but anyway um and then plucked out your eyes and stole your picture after he stole your eyes you never got them back Wait, so I'm so confused, though. So what eyes does he have? Hmm? He has the jaws. But then how does he have his eyes back now? Because they're the jaws. The hell, Joe he took them. Yes. Hockney was a normal human with normal eyes. Yes. Joe took them. Mata took him to the jaw. The jaw gave him his eyes. Look, now he has the jaw's eyes. But I don't understand. Um, wait, what? Hold on. So before he just found the thorn fragment randomly. That might have been the first one, right? The first well, one. Well, his eyes were normal here. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand. Why did why did Joe take his eyes then? Because it said before he took his eyes thinking he can like find the thorn fragment with them. So what I'm thinking is that Hockney probably has a natural attraction to the thorn and he can find it. It's just how he found the first one. So how Joe's like, okay, cool, find the second one. But that and doesn't make sense to what refused. they said before, though. Where? Hold on, let me let me go back to it because this is this is so strange here. Hold up. All the way up here? Yes, yes, all the way up here. Okay, um, wait, I skipped it. I think. Hold on, hold on. Uh, you managed to win the savior. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I heard that hell Joe took your eyes. When you fused to cooperate in helping him find the thorn, Joe was enraged to pluck your eyes out. He tried to use those eyes to find the thorn. Why would he use those yeah. eyes if those eyes are normal people eyes? It makes no sense. Well, I don't think they're normal. I think they're just Hockney's. But Hockney had, an, like, he found the first thorn fragment. Uh-huh. So there must, so maybe there was something, some sort of connection he has to the thorn. Through but, his eyes. But what know. the? F this is so confusing. Oh my! God. Yo, Azul, Azul, help us, Azul. Anyway, <clears throat> let's keep going. Uh, okay. So they looked for the thorn fragment. Joe plucked out his eyes, and he never got them back. I carried you and arrived in this place after he had stolen your eyes and abandoned you. Dude, why is Mata such a homie? This is crazy. The Jaw was so was shocked when he saw you. He said that you would be able to leave the floor of death. Oh my god, look at his fucking eyes. That looks sick. He proposed to give you his own two eyes in exchange for you doing him a single favor. He told me that it was a secret, so I didn't get to hear what the favor was. But it appears that you accepted the Jaw's proposal. But a problem occurred on the next day when you left the castle. Perhaps because you had received the Jaws' eyes, you collapsed and were unconscious. When you awoke several days later, you could hardly remember any of the past. Yo, why are they showing a lot of people naked this episode? What the hell? <clears throat> Not even the promise that you had made with the Jaw. Oh. I thought that it was better that way. So I didn't go back to the Jaw, and I helped you leave the floor of death. Although I almost got caught and killed by Hell Joe in the process, of course. Why would you do that? <clears throat> oh god. <clears throat> I wanted you to live a normal life, where you could forget about everything, leave the floor of death, and travel around the tower with friends. Damn, yo, Mata's really a homie. Since that's precisely what you had dreamed of. 
So in order for you to live your dream life, I thought that it would be better for you to forget all of your memories of this place. Mata. Hockney, I... Thank you. Thank you for thinking of me, Mata. But, I realized something after leaving this place. As long as I have this hole in my heart, no life will ever feel happy to me. I'm definitely being punished. Punished for forgetting something important. Akni. Let's go and see Hell Joe, Mata. Akni? I heard that my picture's in the South City too. So if I go there, I'll definitely be able to end all of this. Okay, so here's my question at this point, right? <clears throat> he thinks his picture's in South City because of because of Emily, right? Mm-hmm. But Rachel tampered with Emily, so is his picture actually in South City? Or do we do we not know where it is? I thought they said that they had it. Uh, oh. like Yura, right? At the last piece? Or did they know where it was? I forget exactly what they said. I think they had it actually. I don't remember, but I remember them saying in that something case, it's about right it. under her nose. Yeah. It's right under his nose. Yo, there's so much treachery going on in this like arc. Like th this is fucking wild. So they they're trying to find the thorn fragment. We meanwhile, it's at the place they're literally going to. Hockney's trying to find his painting. Meanwhile, it's right next to him. This mm -hmm. is fucking well, it was right next to him. Yeah. <clears throat> Yuri's raging, Urex here. This is fucking Rock wild. Is this is such a wild art. Bart's arc. attempting to get a bunch of souls. As usual. There's a lot of things going on at the same time. Bro, this is so crazy. I love this. I'm going to go back to Hell Joe to get my eyes back and find the final piece of my picture. Wait, so right now, is the job blind? Mm hmm. So, how can he see Yuri? He can sense? I don't know. He was looking through a picture. He's undead. I don't know. I'm sure he has a way to see. Okay. So I'm re I, the, the only thing that still isn't making sense is why hell Joe took Hockney's eyes in the first place. If like mm -hmm. if these are the Jaw's eyes and the Jaw eyes are the ones that are special. Wait, so may maybe it's the case of this, right? Maybe well, Hockney is kind of crazy. He could just be crazy and just think that there was something special about his eyes, but there was nothing. That's true. But it also could be the case, maybe Hockney's original eyes were different, because Hockney's eyes now can see into the future, right? Mm -hmm. But as far as we know, that's the only thing they could do. Mm -hmm. So what if before his eyes could do something different? Mm -hmm. Who knows? But anyway. Um, because that's the reason that I came back to this place. That's what happened. I see... So that's the secret behind Hockney's eyes. But Hockney shouldn't get involved in something so dangerous. What? What are you talking about, Bomb? We need every bit of luck that we can get. Yo, Rahel's always causing a fucking issue. I put the picture that he's looking for in my lighthouse. He'll definitely come in handy if we bring him with us. Wait a minute. So it's not with Yura. <laughs> So Rachel has it. So Rachel legit has it right now. Mm-hmm. And she just she just told Bomb she has it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold on. Is Rachel a dumb bitch? Maybe. Think about this, Adrian. Let's say me and you are hanging out. And let me let me tell you, like, you know, pretend like me and you were hanging out, we've known each other for a while, like we have. And I'm telling you, like, yo, Adrian, I really want this, like, limited edition, like, signed copy of, of, like, like, a gin plushie, right? And there's only one of these things, and I want it, and I've been trying to get it, I just can't find it. Like, I really, really want it, right? And then, like, Hunty comes to you, and Hunty's like, yo, Adrian, look, look what I have. I have the gin plushie Chris wants. We could use this to, br you know, blackmail him. Are you gonna like sit there and blackmail me like with that shit? Or are you just gonna be like, nah, we should just give it to him? Yeah, be like, wow, that's a great idea. Let's do that. Like, do you? Th does she think bomb? I hate Chris. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I realized it was a bad example, but yeah. Do you th like? Does she think bomb is gonna be like, oh yeah, let's blackmail my friend with his soul? Well, like, if anything, I feel like Bomb's gonna be like, yo, hand that shit over to him right now. 
Let's see. Bruh, and he's right here, too. Hey, you two. Huh? You're going to see Hell Joe, right? I'm coming with you. Hockney? Yo, look at Mata. Mata looks so funny in the background. Hockney? Let me come with you, too. I know that I'll be able to help you. Hockney. I'll come, too. Since I'm immortal, leave anything dangerous to me. Mata. Okay, I have a hypothesis here. Uh-oh. I'm a little scared to add Mata to the tier list. I think he might get Don't say jobbed. It. No! I think Hell Joe might use him as an example. Like, like this, this trope is so common. Like, Adrian, imagine a character tells you, Oh, don't worry, I'll do it because I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the Conehead was immortal too. Okay, but Mata is more immortal. Okay, yeah, sure. It, where, wasn't he a subordinate of Hell Joe too? Mm -hmm. So at that point, isn't Hell Joe going to be pissed at him? Sure. I feel like the only time we see Hell Joe is like he when he's He did say upset. that Hell Joe almost killed him yeah, when he exactly. was trying to escape with, uh, with Hockney. So he is aware that Hell Joe can kill him. Okay. <laughs> so this is interesting that he's like volunteering for this. But anyway. Did you hear the story about your eyes from Lord Deja? Yeah, I want to get my eyes back. But I also have to find the picture which contains my soul. I have a reason to meet Hell Joe, even if it costs me my life. So is Bomb really not gonna say anything here? Is he just gonna let like him think this? I don't know. Alright, then I'll lead the way. And I have a favor to ask of our two saviors. You both seem to be competitors, but Hell Joe is not someone whom you will be able to defeat whilst competing against one another. You just cooperate at least while you're fighting him dude i love this i love seeing a what if like this where it's like what if rachel and bomb were actually on the same team which i'm sure bomb isn't against like i'm sure bomb is completely fine with mm -hmm. this but rachel's the one who as always is causing the fucking issues bomb you seem like you're on the same team as the lady who appeared in the castle so you should join her and draw joe's attention towards yourself while you do so Hell and I will enter the castle and rescue Desa. Once we rescue him, we'll join you right away and defeat Hell Joe together. Oh, that sounds okay to me. But what about you, Rahel? No complaints here, since I can't do it on my own. Plus, Karaka is chasing us here. We had better get out of here soon. Yo, I think Karaka has bigger issues to deal with now, but she doesn't know that. Mm -hmm. So, you don't have any problems with my request. Nope. Kill Hell Joe! Death to enemies! Yo, this guy's just in the back yelling. <laughs> the job will also will probably also want to go if I tell him. We had better leave before he notices. <laughs> then let's head out. Dude, I don't like how this guy looks like a fucking vampire. To Hell Joe's castle. Oh shit! Dude, I love how Hockney's lantern's lit. That's so cool. At the same moment, the entrance to Hell Joe's castle. Oh, so right now, the last thing Hell Joe did was he saw Yuri going crazy, right? I'm sorry? The last thing Hell Joe saw was Yuri going crazy, right? Uh, I think so. And he wants yeah. to go, and like, Hell Joe's like, in front oh, of her. Yeah, she must be the one who can get me out of the tower. Yo, <laughs> there's the so tower. much. Yo, this is so funny, Adrian. Yeah, there's, there's a so lot of many. Yeah, there's so much shit. Where it's like these people think one thing, but it's the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like if Hell Joe looks at you, he's like, oh, you can get me out. And you're just going to try and fucking clobber him. <laughs> Anyway, at the same moment, the entrance to Hell Joe's castle. He's riding a little fucking bug, too. Run! Damn it, there's no chance to load! I knew it. Yo, Yuri looks crazy. She's totally messing around with Sanchez. Oh, God. I really don't like seeing Hell Joe like this. See, this is actually scary. Like, if I saw Hell Joe like this, I would piss my fucking pants immediately. 
You'll do just fine as a challenger for me, Joe. Okay, I didn't know why he needed to say his own name, but okay. Oh, damn, and that's the end. Wow, interesting. Because he's cool like that. Because he's cool. Yo, that's kind of stupid. Like, like, that's so cringe. Like, oh, yeah, I'll fight you. He me. refers to himself in the third person. Yeah, hell, Joe. That's so cringe. Yo, but his face, Adrian, is so cool. It's so good. It's scary, though, but it's so good. He like the, Does he look like a mosquito to you or no? Mosquitoes don't have teeth. True, but like, look at the wings, right? Because I take it like in stride with the wings too. The wings like, the little me, like, like fur. Yeah, I mean, yeah, me too. But like taking the whole getup, right? Doesn't he? Doesn't he remind you of like a mosquito? I don't know. I guess if you want to put it that way. Okay. It's not that far off. All right. Cool. All right. Do you have the uh, blog post? Oh nice, yeah. you sent it to me. Cool. Excuse me. Oh, he's. I forgot. He's updating the cherry blossom. Mm hmm. All right. I finally get to eat my fucking food for the first time today. Let's go. Cool. And I will get started. Yes, sir. Um... Okay. This is the afterword for chapter 246. This week's request is blah, blah, blah. Nims. Uh, wasted Yuri and Evan pulling in the reins uh, to the far right. Your, if Yuri hilarious. got wasted, she would uproot the cherry tree. Oh uh, so instead God. of completely wasted, I just got her pleasantly buzzed up. Uh, <laughs> next week, the next week's request will go on the far left. Uh, tell me your scenario or characters. Right, so uh, Adrian, who are you thinking? I think we were um, both wrong again, right? They're all season oneers. Yeah. I want to say Hockney so bad, but since they're all season oneers, I feel like he's not going to show up. There's no way Hockney's going to show up in a place with all like. Yeah, with all good people aside from Rahel, I'm guessing Rahel, Dorsey right? a lot. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I'm guessing in Dorsey a lot, but I want to guess her again. I feel <laughs> like she has to show up at some point. There's no way. Yeah, but you can't take my pick. My pick is in Dorsey. Your pick is in Dorsey. Then I guess who are you? Oh my or fucking maybe... god! You did it again. Shit. Yeah, Fuck! Loser. I should have taken who are you to get. You did this the last time too. Oh my god, I fucking forgot. Get good. Alright, whatever. I'm still going with Endorsey. I get... Fuck, man. <clears throat> god damn it. Alright, continuing. Okay. Uh, now, that spring, uh, now that spring started and weather's gotten better, it's quite warm and relaxing. I can't help but feel the urge to go out and take a trip around or something, but work. Mm. Uh, this week, Eric has strong fingers. Since Eric is such a strong character, I can't show off. Uh, I can't show everything off. But the floor of death arc will feature a fight between high rankers, Let's go. and after that, will be the little one's adventure for a bit. Uh, if high rankers fight, it's a natural disaster, level catastrophe. So they have a general rule not to fight each other if possible. It's an Avengers level threat. Yeah, Kraka looks pretty pitiful here. I just want you guys to know that Karaka's not that weak. Yeah. Bruh, he barely looked pitiful because we only saw one panel of him shitting himself. This arc is structured, Bomb's secret, the change in Bomb and Rachel's relationship, Hell Joe's fight at all, and Aftermatch. So we're entering the third act of this arc. Oh shit. Since the first parts were so long, I had to stretch some parts and compress other parts. It has pros and cons, it seems. Well, now it's Hell Joe's fight at all act. I hope uh, so. I hope you guys look forward to it. You know what's crazy that I thought of? Mm -hmm. So if you look at uh, Rahel's and um, Bomb's relationship, right? For the mm -hmm. longest time, Bomb was basically a simp, right? Like he's like, no, mm -hmm. Rachel, please, please come back to me, please, and like he's chasing after the pussy, right? And the mm -hmm. entire time he was chasing after the pussy, look what happened. The pussy betrayed him twice. The pussy, you know, insulted him. The pussy wanted nothing to do with him. But take a look now. Now that Bomb's grown up into, like, a better person. A person with some actual self-restraint. He doesn't want the pussy anymore. Right? Remember, now he's actively denying Rahel. He's like, you know what, Rahel? Fuck you. I have my friends now. You're a bitch. And now look. Now that he's not chasing the pussy, what is the pussy doing? The pussy's chasing him. I think we can you all this learn is a life lesson. Yeah, yeah I was oh, about yeah. <laughs> to say that. I think we can all learn a very valuable life lesson here. The SIU, I, I'm hypothesizing, is like underscoring here. 
Don't chase the pussy. Let the pussy come to you. It's very relevant in our friend group right now. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. Uh, all right, carrying on. Um, oh, right here, Rachel and uh, Rachel and Bomb join hands to Hallow Joe's castle. A big stream, you could say. But since there's movies. a lot of variables, like Hockney's eyes, so this arc uh, should have a lot to see. I've been publishing Tower of God for a while, and recently felt uh, that for a very long time I've done too little in the expansion of other TOG con uh, TOG content. If I do that, I can reach you guys more, and I wish I'm not the only one managing all the content. Oh. I'm working hard, but I keep facing hardships and difficulties with it. It's been seven years, but when I look at other works around me, I feel a bit empty. Well, when in doubt, time to reread, am I right? Haha. <laughs> ha. Have uh I'll try to bring uh good stories next week. Have a good week. Thank you. So he wants to build more on the 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 world building, I guess. I thought it just meant he wanted to get like more helpers. Oh, like more content. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel that. So, yet again, I've been saying this over the last couple of blog posts and more and more it's revealing to me to be true. Mhm. Mm I'm really like SIU, Adrian. You know why? Yeah. Look at what he you says about series? Tog. Close, close. I have an online series every day that I do. On Your Push TV slash Technics channel. Now, I felt for a very long time I've done too little for my stream, and I'd like to expand it, which is why I want to get an editor, which, you know, one of them came and gone. But um, we're working on that. But one thing that's extremely extremely i guess uh i don't say ironic but just um kind of funny he's been doing this for seven years right at the at this time mm -hmm. guess how long i've been streaming don't tell me also seven years exactly and you know what's Crazy. even crazier you know how siu's health was like degrading mm -hmm. what do i feel about me adrian same thing sleep exactly depression. yep sleep deprived uh, sleep. depressed uh. physically exhausted like it's it's one-to-one -one. i'm the siu of a different universe it's crazy you two would be homies i know well maybe maybe not because um isn't it the saying that opposites attract uh are we opposites well I think me and SIU are sort of alike, right? This is where, like, is there an opposite saying of that where it's like, oh, similars like repel? Have you ever heard of like a saying like that? Or I don't think, yeah, I think opposites attract can be true, but it's not like a one hundred percent thing. Same thing for people who are similar. Okay, I guess moral of the story is sayings are just sayings; they're not truths. Yeah, that's true. Okay, anyway, so that was chapter two forty six. Now two forty seven. So, mm -hmm. hairline. Yep. Boy next door. Mm -hmm. Oil river boy. Mm -hmm. Fully hairline. Mm -hmm. Would you like to keep going? Yeah, we have to. Okay. All right. Let's do it up. All right. Chapter 247. So, we see here everyone's getting ready to step through the portal. I'm not going to lie. Mata here looks a little bit like a creep. He looks like the Millennium Earl from... Uh, D. Gray Man, even though I've actually never seen that show, but I know what he looks like. Uh, yeah, definitely some Millennium Earl vibes there. Anyway, and now look. L look, look at the symbolism here. What is Bomb doing, Adrian? Stepping away from the pussy. And what is Rahel doing? Going after him. Well said. You know, I think we have to name this episode that, too. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> important life lessons okay yeah that's good don't, don't chase the oh, okay. pussy <laughs> perfect he just wrote the whole thing yes i because then i'm gonna forget it anyway oh okay bomb mm -hmm. don't think for a minute that we're allies we've just become a team in order to find the thorn fragment you know what the pussy is doing here playing mm -hmm. hard to get this is a way to lure Bomb in to try and, like, pussy whip him again. Because she knows. She knows that Bomb has become enlightened. That he's become free of the pussy. 
And now she's trying to draw him back in. I don't yes, think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work here. As soon as I find out where the thorn fragment is, will be... Yeah, I know, Rahel. And look, and look, the pussy has no power over him. They're enemies. Th that's... Ra oh. Look! <laughs> she's so... Adrian... I'm telling you, bro. More and more, I'm like, I'm, I'm so like hell bent on the idea that she is here to try and like alleviate Bomb's prophecy. Like, I feel like honestly, she is, she is a tragic good character. Excuse me, who's trying to help Bomb, and she took it too far. Like, there was different ways she probably could have went about it, and she went about it in such a bad way where now Bomb doesn't like her anymore and i think she never wanted that because remember what she told them the biggest thing burned into my mind was when she was tweaking out when she was like yelling at bomb and she was like oh why don't you just go back to the to the cave and wait for me right that shows she still wants him she just doesn't want him to climb the tower like i'm almost positive he wants to help bomb but she's fucking up because she's inept and she's a bitch Mm -hmm. And it looks like Bomb is hurting too, but yo, he's grown, man. He knows even though this this hurts, he has to leave the pussy. Are those tears? Wait a minute, what the hell? Oh. Slave in utero. Tower of God. The Hell Train. The floor of Death. Part 16. In front of the entrance of Hell Joe's castle... Mosquito Man has arrived on his giant centipedal. Hmm? Hmm. Did she look this way? Dude, Hell Joe looks actually crazy. He looks like a demon mosquito. I'll tell you, I don't know what it is. I think the fur, too. I feel like mosquitoes are, like, furry in this way. And then the three eyes there. It, it, I, I can't say for certain, but I feel like this is all mosquito paraphernalia. How dare you look away? This is going to do absolutely nothing. This guy's going to get jobbed. This fucking One Punch Man villain looking character is going to get jobbed. Oh no, she's using the Black March. I think. Oh my god, she just whipped that shit. She's like, fuck no, bitch. Wow. She slapped that shit. Ugh. Oh my god, Yuri looks so fucking cool. Holy shit. Hey, you! Huh? Can you hear me? Who's that punk? Okay, I have a question here, right? Just from mm -hmm. your personal, like, guess. Because obviously, you know, you're, you're a guide, so you know what happens. But from, from where we're at now, just from, like, I guess your personal assumption, if you were, like, watching this for the first time... Would you say Evan is stronger than, um, than Hell Joe? No. You don't, you don't think, so. think he's stronger than Hell Joe? I mean, from what I see, no. Okay, right? pretend Hell Joe didn't have the stupid, like, top hole power. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, we really haven't seen Hell Joe do much yet. Okay, but just think about it like this, right? This is how I'm thinking about it. Bomb has to fight this guy, uh, you know, allegedly, right? Mm -hmm. If Bomb has to fight this guy, this guy can't be on ranker level. You're He's meta on... gaming right now. What do, you, what do you mean I'm meta gaming? You're saying that the oh, that like you're using the fact that Bomb has to fight this guy to translate his power. That's not how it should be. Well, yeah, because if this guy's it's are... meta gaming. Well, is it not true? Because you're because you're using your ability as the reader to solve like problems that... okay but is that not true sure because there's only two things that are going to happen here either number one this guy's weak because bomb ha and i mean weak relatively to the people right near him right now so number one you know he's weak because bomb eventually has to fight him or number two he's strong and we think bomb's gonna fight him but realistically someone else is gonna come in either yuri's gonna kill him or Ryun's gonna do something or realistically speaking, Eric is going to fly by and swat him away like a bug. Mm -hmm. So it could be like a red herring, but one of those two has to be true here. 
And I'm wondering which side you're on. Like, so do you think he's like near Yuri level, or do you think he's gonna be like near Bomb level? Yuri level. So at that point, there's no way Bomb can fight him. Anyway, dude, that looks so demonic. That looks scary. Also, aside from like his face, like I like, I really like Hell Joe's drip. Aside from like his skirt. Which again reminds me of Sir Aka. I really like his hoodie and his horns. I and his wings. I like everything about Hell Joe. Except his face and his skirt. My name is Hell Joe. I'm Lord of the South City. I came to ask you a favor. Sir, what are you doing outside your castle? Punk is Hell Joe? Who he made that announcement just to lure us? favor that's right right now our souls are under a curse that won't let us leave this place with that power of yours you might be able to break the curse of ours this curse of ours so i wanted to ask whether you have any intention of helping us i mean at this point why the fuck would anyone help joe isn't joe like a villain I don't know. Well, I mean, he's a villain that has what people want. No, right? he doesn't. He's lying. Well, they don't need to know that. Okay, interesting. Dude, Yuri actually looks insane. She looks like she has the insane face here. I'm not sure. What would I stand to gain by helping you guys? Anything you want. High definition TVs, DVDs. PlayStation Z box. <laughs> Yo, he's really trying to bribe her with bullshit. I can get you anything that you want because I plan on leaving this place and becoming king of the tower. All right, Hell Joe, I think you're reaching a little too high now. I think he's like long man. Listen, I think Hell Joe is a big fish in a small pond. He doesn't okay. know there's Wong an Nan's ocean. Does the same thing. Listen, but Wang Nan is the son of Wong Jihad. Wang like the weakest person. No, 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 no. Wang Nan is either the son of Jihad, Jihad himself, or at the very least, the brother of Karaka. Man, you don't remember Kasano stomping him out? Did he die? No, he no. never dies. Exactly. He's like a roach. You, you could try as hard as you want, you won't kill him. Okay, but no one's afraid of a roach. Yeah, and then well, guess what? Actually, I guess a lot of people are afraid of roaches. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, that's more of just like the look of it. But listen, at the end of the day, you might not be afraid of the roach, but that leads you to underestimate the roach. And then the roach evolves and it gets wings and then it, it does something else. I don't know. But, All right. But Hello Joe's a mosquito, the most deadly animal on the planet. Okay, that's true. That's true. But he can't kill Wang Nan. I think. I, I, I hope. Also, does right. he have AirPods in his pocket? What the fuck is that? Anyway. King? You mean you? That's right. I have the ultimate power. If I could just make it outside the floor of death, it would be nothing to push everyone aside and become king. Oh, those are his little eyeballs. Wait a minute. Does he fucking collect people's eyes? That's a good question. Because then this makes he sense. Has why... a habit of taking people's eyes. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then this makes sense of why he took uh, Hockney's. Mm -hmm. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to help me? Well, what if I refuse? I'll defeat you and steal your abilities. Oh, is that so? But you. Not the king that I've been waiting for. Huh? You mean... That's enough of this nonsense! Yo, what the fuck? Where did the- where the fuck did Garan come from? Oh, what's, what's that she's holding, Adrian? Uh -huh. Oh shit, I think it's another 13 month series! Okay, I'm a little scared Yuri's gonna like fucking whip her. Which is sad, too, because I feel like Garam is very strong just on account of her age and, like, how much lore she knows. Because we all know the more, low you, the more lore you know, the more powerful you are. So, I'm a little scared here. What's a spirit like you doing back here, 
when you're supposed to be gone. Huh? Wait. Is that? Oh, shit. Yo, Yuri just teleported out that shit. Dude, Yuri is so hot. Oh, my God. Long time no see. Ghost of the 13 months. Oh, shit. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Wait, is this what happened from Yurek? Oh shit, it is! <laughs> uh, I, th I thought I was going to die. Who the heck is that monster? Oh my god, Adrian, look at what he did with one finger. Wait, so who the fuck protected them? Or was that Yurek? Did Yurek do this? I'm guessing it's Eric, but let's see. Damn it! I thought I was a goner. That scared the crap out of me. Yo, what did I say? I told you why it was gonna shit himself. I made it. What are you doing here? in here? What happened to your pride as a slayer? Hmm. Oh my god! Look at fucking Karak! Uh-huh. He's like Vegeta, or Yamcha, rather. He's Yamcha. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Still alive. Dude, Karaka just got sucked. Oh my god, he's reforming. Oh. So your body self-regenerates. Is that a spell? I can't hand over the wings if you're going to cheat like that, baby. I don't need them. Hmm. What a shame. You seem like you could be useful. Seeing that he's talking about the wings, he clearly must be affiliated with Wolhike's song. Judging from Bro, that trim doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, yo, he's he's yo, Karaka, I'll give him this. Karaka is smart. Like he's trying to piece it together. <laughs> yeah. From from the pure fact that he was able to like tell what Yura and like Rachel were doing, even though it was pretty fucking obvious. Like, the fact that he was still able to tell that, like, is a testament to his intelligence. This is where any other normal villain would never have, like, noticed that. But anyway, judging from that tremendous power, as well as his overflowing confidence and narcissism, his name must be Urek. Okay, so, so Karaka does know Urek, he just didn't know what he looked like. Mm-hmm. It feels like I've run into a very pesky opponent, Mr. Finger. Yo, this guy, yo, he's so stupid. Wreck Mazino, the self-proclaimed champion of the tower. Shall I change my attack style? What the fuck is he doing? With power equivalent to that of the Ten Great Families or Jihad. Okay, so when they say this, right, when they say the Ten Great Families or Jihad, does that mean he? they mean, like, all the Ten Great Families at once? Maybe. Holy shit. I don't know what someone like him, the Vice Captain of Wolhike Song, is doing here. But one thing is clear right now. You know what's going to be clear to Karaka? He needs to fucking get the fuck out of here. That's what's yeah, going to be clear to him. Yeah, I don't know why he's still here. <laughs> Like, he's gonna be like, I need to leave. <laughs> but also, I wanted to ask this question before, and I actually forgot it. But I believe I asked this previously in a, in a previous episode. So, Wolhike song, right? We don't know who the leaders are. Mm -hmm. Is Yurek one of the leaders? Mm -hmm. No, it says it right here, Vice Captain. He's Vice Captain. But he's the strongest in Wolhike song. Uh, yep, unless Jihad's part of it. Or any <laughs> Wow. Well, yeah, I doubt they're a part of it, but wow, that would be a fucking plot twist. Imagine that, like Jihad was like the secret, like captain of Wolhike, mm -hmm. the CEO of Wolhike. Oh my god, he, yo, you can't lose if you're playing both sides. Yeah, that's how you do it. But um, so even though he's the strongest, he's not the leader. Mm -hmm. And is that because well, like I mean, he didn't want to be, or that could be it for sure? Yeah. Okay. He's close enough. Vice Captain's pretty much there. So, if the Captain wants, like, Eric to do something, will Eric do it? I don't know. Okay, interesting. Probably. Let's see what Karaka's gonna, like, say to Eric. 
There's no way I can beat even a single one of that guy's fingers. Damn, he knows! Think carefully, Karaka. We can't have everything in this situation. That guy came here to protect the girl. You know what he's gonna do? He's gonna have to give up Yura. He's gonna have to. Mm -hmm. There's no other way. So for now, I have no choice but to give up on finding out where Viola's. I'll just have to give up on that. Dude, Karaka is smart, man. I'm actually so shocked. Like, this guy is not stupid. Which means that I have one last card up my sleeve here. <gasps> oh, no. Why is he looking at him, Adrian? I don't know. I like how White, like, just straight up said, like, I shit myself. Like, mm -hmm. he straight up said, like, I almost crapped myself, like, seeing what fucking this animal did. White. That's racist. Anyway. Uh, alright, it seems like Karaka looks like he's shitting himself physically. Huh? Huh. Is he... I'll leave just enough power to return to my original body and detonate all of the remaining power in this body. Then, I'll be able to escape from here. After that, I will just have to get to- I will just have to get white. You think Uruk is gonna allow this? There's no way. There's no way, like, Uruk is gonna let this happen. Dude, we'll I see. love- I love when fucking SIU draws like this. I feel like this is, like, a very detailed style. It's a shame it's blurred, but I feel like SIU drew this very well. Uh, wait, what the fuck is that? Oh! Oh! Wait, what? Wait a minute. Is that a little Karaka ball? Mm hmm So, so that Karaka ball took the ring, and Wang Nan saw it. Mm hmm Oh, shit. So, wait, so is that Karaka? It has to be Karaka's ring, yeah. No, no, but is the ball Karaka himself? Mm-hmm. Yep. So he turned into a ball. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? And just to make sure, this is not him stealing Wang Nan's ring. This is his own ring. I believe this is his own, yeah. Okay. The ring? He's gone. Dude, you know what's so sad? Now SIU is going to blue ball us again, man. Now Wang Nan knows that, oh, this guy has the other ring. And now I bet you they're not going to see each other for like 200 more chapters. All right, start counting. Yeah, this is crazy. He's gone. So are Joaquin and those people. Uh, he He's going to explode? I can't believe this guy. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Oh, wow. Are you okay, ladies? Wow, he doesn't even care about Wong, man. Uh, yeah. What a relief. She's gorgeous. Yo, Eric is really a fucking simp. Yo, look at fucking little Miss Sang, man. I miss Miss Sang. I hope she gets happy again. That was so dangerous. Those evil bastards. Did he just throw Wong on? Uh-huh. Uh, I chased them away, so don't worry. I'll have to catch them and make them apologize. Ugh. They're gone already. Or fuck. They're already gone. Well, whatever. <laughs> Those guys look like a nuisance anyway. Urek Mazino, what on earth are you doing here? Oh, baby. How's my Slayer candidate doing? W well, did you come here to meet Viol? <clears throat> hmm. That's part of the reason. There was actually something that I had to deal with here. Huh? Something that you had to deal with. A few years ago, I discovered... That fucking looks like nightmare fuel, by the way. A few years <laughs> ago, I discovered a ridiculous creature on the floor of death. I gave it to a certain boy, and that monster has gone so big that it's difficult to stop. I think that one of the ladies who lived here hates me. Wha what? What is it? Wait a minute, so is the one of the ladies that hates him, is, is it going to be Garam, I think? Sounds like it. Yeah. <clears throat> the Red Thrysia. 
Old Joe. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. The Red Theresa is how I pronounce it. Theresa? Yeah. I'm gonna say Thrice, yeah. Anyway. I hate the way you say it. Wow! Okay. <laughs> no, but it's cool. Say what you gotta say. Why do you hate Thrice? Know that it's know that it makes me I don't know, it just sounds weird to me. It's I like, like the way it sounds in my head. Okay. I mean if it conflicts with it's your fine. natural thing, I understand, but it doesn't matter, you can keep going. <laughs> I just I just had to vocalize that, you know what I mean? No, no, go right. <laughs> but it bothered me. <laughs> I like that. I like when people tell me like their opinions. Especially if they're honest. But anyway. So this was Hell Joe in like a larval state. This is like his cell stage one form. Uh sure. Okay. I gave it to a certain boy and that monster's gone so big as it Oh, so so this isn't Hell Joe. So this is the Red Thrycia that that then was given to Hell Joe. There you go. Yeah. What is the Red Theresa? Okay. It's it's like this this thing. The Red mm -hmm. Thrycia, Hell Joe. He was one of the few guys whose abilities I acknowledged, but now apparently he's become a tyrant here. Hell Joe. Dude, Yura is so hot. <laughs> Hold on, fuck. I lowered her on the tier list, right? Yeah, can you blame Yura? Come on, fuck. man. Fuck, I lowered her on the tier list, but now I want to raise her back up because she's so pretty. God, she's such a Did bitch. Did we just learn a lesson today about simping? Yeah, I know, I know. Fuck. And now Eric's out here simping? Yo, man, I... It's uh, like, who are we trying to learn our lessons from, Bomb or Eric? Listen, it's called the Bomb Show, not the Eric Show. Because they look show. like they're both eating right now. Listen, like, this is... Eric's doing pretty good for himself. This is the... Oh, is he really... <laughs> You know, his so-called girlfriend, Garam, hates him. Is he really doing good for himself? Well, his girlfriend's Garam, so yeah. Yeah, but Garam hates him. Still? It's worth? Nah, I don't know. I don't know. God, Yura is so cute. Anyway, I love how the stars are always around here. I guess mm -hmm. you never know what people will become. Well, anyway, that's what happened. See you next time, babies. What? Where are you going? I'm going to get rid of this nuisance for that lady. Wait, so which lady is he talking about? Is it Garam? <clears throat> Yo, maybe he's trying to make good with Garam, so he's going to, like, kill Hell Joe. Or Yura. Nah, there's no way. He just met Yura. Because I'm a hero. Hey, what's gotten into you? Ah! Oh, they're fucking riding like a sled. Ah! Oh my god, it's fucking Mata. Ah! What? The voice from below. Oh wait, what? Oh shit! Wait, they're they're near Kuhn. Them are in the castle. Yeah. What the fuck? Whoa! Mata! Where is this? The inside of Hell Joe's castle, all by the entrance. Hell Joe's castle. Help me run! Oh, those are all the people running away from like Yuri, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> hey, why is the castle so noisy? It looks like they're panicking because some intruders have appeared. This is actually good for us. Now, let's divide ourselves into teams. Oh, nah, what the fuck is this weird-looking thing? You. Fabregas? Randalee. Fabregas, you traitor. Oh, God, he's turning into a fucking Saitama villain. <laughs> Lucky me. Hell, Joe will give me back my power if I catch you. Wait. Isn't this the guy Hell, Joe sucked? Mm-hmm. Wait, so he's not dead. Yeah. Hell Joe didn't kill him. Oh, wait, so what did Hell Joe like, take from him? Bit a chunk out of him. Oh, okay. That apparently, like, weakened him. Okay, okay. So it looks like Hell Joe's just able to fucking take whatever the fuck he wants. His, like, your mm -hmm. eyes, your power. Jesus. Be careful. If you get hit with the stinger on the end of his tail, contaminated blood will fill your whole body. Huh? It's too late? Oh my god. <laughs> Just so you know, anyone who gets contaminated with my blood, 
even immortal people don't wake up for days. I mean, okay, but they're gonna wake up eventually, so, like, is this really that much of a threat? Huh? Ah! It means he gets to have his way with you. <laughs> okay, but, like, look at who else is here. Yo, are we gonna have another stupid situation on the fucking, like, name hunt station? Whatever. What, what, was, what was that guy's name? Yeah, the, the weird dude. What was it? The, the one, one that was gonna, decapitated? Yeah, the one was gonna, like, violate freaking, um... She is, she is. Yeah, Zha Yo, I miss Zha Zha. God, she's so hot. Yeah, like, what the fuck? So, let, let's just say this guy knocks out Mata. At that point, Bomb is gonna mollywop him. Okay, what if he knocks out everyone else? Okay, then he's then he wins. He wins Tower of God. I don't know. Good job. And he gets his power back. Let's go. Yep. Mata. It, it's okay. I can't die. I'm fine, everyone. Gensu Black Hole Spear. Wait, so the Black Hole Spear isn't the Divine Drip, right? It is. Oh, no, it is? Wait, so what the fuck? Mm -hmm. How many different names are there? That's why you get confused there? with it. Yeah, exactly. Shimon Ryu, Divine Flow, Shinsu Black Hole Spear. Okay, so those are the three. All the same thing. Okay. Is there? Are they ever going to stick to one? No. God fucking damn it. Okay, But they, they use Black Hole Spear the most, from my experience. Okay. And there's there's only those three, there's no more. The least cool translation really? of it, in my opinion. I think yeah. Black Holster is pretty cool. I think Shin Wan Ryu sounds hella cool. Well that sounds like, cool, but it's it, also Asian. It probably sounds cool because yeah, like we're American and it sounds cool to us because it's a yeah. different language. But also Divine Flow sounds cooler in my opinion too. I mean I like Divine Drift, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Divine Drippy. Drip didn't exist. This is seven years ago, or like how many years ago this was? I don't know. There's like always drip or some shit. Listen, listen, Adrian. But no, people didn't say it though. You know, listen, what I mean? they might not like, have said it, existed, it, but they still but had the word it. wasn't there. They, they yeah, but the word wasn't there. It doesn't matter you know? if it wasn't there. Listen, just because you don't know the word for the sky doesn't mean the sky's not there. Drip it's was still called there. swag back then, oh, or something like that. Yeah, it's know. fucking called something stupid. It's still drip though. They still got the drippy. Anyway. So it looks like Bomb is using a, oh my god, he's using fucking Divine Drip and decapitating this guy. Huh? Did that little punk just kill me? Wait, so Divine Drip can kill them too? What? This must be what the Ja told me about. Let's go. Power of the Savior. So at this point, they know the Savior's bomb. They know it's not Rachel. Mm -hmm. So bomb can break spells as well. That's insane. One Yo, that's fucking crazy. Wow, that's <clears throat> it. What the fuck? Which I guess is another capability of the Shin One Ryu because it just it just eats everything. I guess. So it just it's it's literally a black hole. Like it will mm -hmm. just like it's nullify like matter. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. the fuck? That's wild. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Well, let's go. He said you just killed him. <laughs> Yo, you just killed him. That sounds like he shouldn't have done that. Like, like if if I just walked on this panel without ever knowing, like Tower got this. Look like somebody just killed him who wasn't supposed to. Or some <laughs> shit. It's like, Yo, you just killed him. Why'd you do that? Yeah, that's true. Right, let's get. Damn, I'm sad. It's over. I want to read another one. Yeah, that was a quick one, honestly. I was hoping for a little more. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um. Uh, so I don't see a cherry blossom. Yeah, that's true. Maybe something happened health wise. Yeah. Uh. This week my wrist condition is worsened due to overload, so I decided not to draw anything other than the work I really need. I feel a little nerve slash a uh, little nerve shocks slash stinging and some inflammation, so it bothers me a fair bit. No. Oh. There it is. You know what's crazy? Again, this is just like me, because over time I've been noticing like uh -huh. the sleep deprivation is like getting to me now. For real, you never sleep. Yeah. It's affecting me though now. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I was right. Uh, I'll finish the Cherry Blossom Festival request sometime, some other time. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Uh, next week, instead of the request, I'll be drawing some sketches or backgrounds uh, for the cover of Tankobon Volume 1. 
uh, a lot of you want tango bonds, so I'll press on with it, even if it's hard. I've been getting some pressure from others because it's been pretty delayed. Ah, uh, I've become slave to my own art. Just like how I'm a slave to the stream. It will come out, uh, it'll come out before the second half of the year, ideally. I Yo, don't know. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Another thing, right? Oh, Chris, mm -hmm. when are you going to play Minecraft? Oh, Chris, when are you going to play this? When are you going to play that? Oh, You're I don't never going to play when, anything when else. When I'm unemployed, ideally. No, when you finish Overwatch, which will never happen. No, when I'm unemployed, ideally. Yo, what me I'm and SIU doing. are the same, man. Just to drop your other stupid game. You, you can do Shut something up. about it. Shut up. No, no one wants to watch Overwatch. It's a bad game. Wow. You're not wrong, but wow. All right, anyways, uh, it'll come you. out. Bef it'll come out before the second half of the year, ideally. I don't know what to add in the extras. Some four cut gag memoirs, additional lore. I have a lot of ideas, but you guys should tell me what you guys want in the comments. Of course, nothing too complex, masters. Oh, on this chapter, in words, bomb is in the house. Yes, uh, is the idea. Bomb can kill immortal beings. Was uh, we established? Wait, so on your side, I have a question here. Mm -hmm. So at this point, is there like a is there like a limit to the to the divine drip? So if he can kill immortal beings, right? If he just uses the divine drip against uh Hell Joe, Hell Joe's Yuri level, will it even work? Mm, who knows? <clears throat> like is there like it worked against Karaka's stuff. But, yeah, but um this is where Azul kind of explained it. Where it worked against Karaka's like residual, like literal ending of the attack stuff. Where it's like, yeah, it sucked mm -hmm. that in because that was like the weakest like part of the attack. Well, you know, bomb's only getting stronger by Dude, the minute. But, but what I'm asking is like, does the divine drip have like a like a scaling to it? I guess. Probably. Okay. On Yuri's side, we already have Grom, and Eric seems to be headed that way too, since all these stories around are gathering uh, into one in this arc. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the convergence. Cool. Uh, this arc is actually out uh out wait is actually out of the balance compared to other previous arcs and upcoming episodes. There are a lot of strong characters and the scale is much bigger. The structure of the power scale of here isn't exactly Dragon Ball, so don't I don't worry about power inflation. I feel like that's but actually it, a little bit of an issue right now too. I feel like yeah. we're reaching power inflation because the, the, the scale whole thing... gets too. Go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just finish this thing. Yeah. But if the scale gets too big, more intricate parts of the story become harder to do, depict. Uh, that's something Kuhn and Bomb will be handling, uh, so I'll be looking. Uh, so I'll be on the lookout for their side. So you know, one of my constant complaints with SIU is how he portrays power, where it's like mm -hmm. I feel like there's never a consistent showing of like rankers because we see rankers and they're like, whenever we see them, they're ridiculous. In terms of like our standards then right so mm -hmm. look at look at um quants right remember we saw quants in season one and yeah he restricted mm -hmm. his power but like he was still like not blowing shit up like you know being crazy right and then as mm -hmm. time has went on we've seen rankers do more and more obviously we're seeing like the extremes right now we're seeing like the top of the top but even then i feel like siu is just not that good at like doing power levels for rankers I agree. I feel like we've gotten nowhere in understanding how strong rankers are after traveling this far in the story. Like uh, the same, we get the same uh, thing, like you know, being repeated to us. That just oh, rankers are just incomprehensibly strong. You but know it doesn't I mean? but it's look like now we're seeing other rankers. Yeah, it, it's it's hard because we're seeing things from like regulars' perspective. We just keep being told like, yeah, they're nowhere near the rankers. They're nowhere near the rankers. And then we have like rankers and regulars interacting, and it's just like it's hard to like like you're starting to plot the points on this this graph right after every instance that you see like you know a ranker do something and like yeah. things aren't adding up uh-huh <clears throat> i get that yeah i wish there was some more control on it it bothers me too uh, because i love the series so much i don't let it like you know it doesn't really affect me as much as like maybe like someone else would yeah but okay. it's definitely something that i have in the back of my mind whenever i'm reading it yeah for me it's just like a little pet peeve it's something he can improve on for sure. Yeah. And this is where I have the question. Does he improve on it in the future or no? Hmm. 
Uh, it's still an issue, I'd say, but I think he does improve on it. Okay. I think he improves. At, honestly, a lot of things improve as he keeps going. Uh, some things get worse too, but no. I feel like a lot of that has to do with the um, health issues and uh, time okay. constraints. I don't think, like, it, it's weird that like he improves a lot of things and like you know some things just kind of fall flat. Yeah, I feel like, like those it seems things suspicious. Those things that are falling flat, though, from what you're saying, it seems like it's kind of out of his control. <laughs> yeah, it feels like things are rushed sometimes. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, and I think that might just have to do with like how webtoon is you know we, we already had the episode talking about how much we hate webtoon. webtoon you know it's funny i think like this week or like last week i um i just hopped on webtoon and i just went to go look at where tower of god is brother in 10th place on fantasy and then if you look at everything above tower of god it's like we, some we random like this. romance type we, shit yeah i yeah, know but i looked at it before, again right? and i looked at the views dude tower of god has like literally like two billion views and these other ones like literally the number one like like fantasy thing which is like the genre that tower of god is in has like five chapters and it's what? like what you're gonna put that as number one over tower of god who's been like here since day one and has been killing it since day one and you're just gonna put this random thing that just dropped as the number one like it's so weird how they publicize these authors that are just coming up out of nowhere and then like the ones that have been working their asses off for such a long time get like no clout yo i don't know what does this sound like adrian it's fucked up, and no, I think no, it's no, just no. because I'm they just... want to push the the, the narrative, right? Well, I, like, I think that I think webtoons he... are all like romancey yeah. type stuff. I mean, that's also what what I feel like the culture sort of likes, right? It's the Korean culture; it's very big there. But also, I fully agree. But also, yo, who does this remind you of, Adrian? Huh? Who does it remind me of? Me. You? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sure. Would you like to explain that? Well, you know, everything you said just relates to me too. Wow, you know what's funny? I just clicked on Fantasy right now, and Tower of God isn't there anymore. Wow. They heard you. So it got kicked off. Yeah. They're like, okay, cool. We'll just take it off now. (laughs) Oh, wow. They literally have a section called Romance. Can't they just dump everything there? Why is all these... Like, I'm clicking on Fantasy, and the first one looks like a romance. The second one also. The third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. The only ones that don't look like romance are 8, 9, and 10. But I don't really know because I'm only looking at the picture. <laughs> That's crazy. Like the rest are just clearly like, yeah. It's, wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Yet again, I'm like SIU. I work my ass off when I get no recognition. Dude, it's not even on the front page anywhere on the top. Wild. It's Genres. an anime too. Oh, wait. I think I was looking by, wait, original? Wait, let me just check. They have multiple lists here. Moral of the story is it's too hard to find Tower of God on on same, webtoon. Same with my stream on Twitch. For something this good, like, yeah, why are they hiding it? It's like my stream on Twitch. And then they're showing all these things that just pop up out of nowhere. Just like the other stupid streams on Twitch. Yeah. Like, like I feel like the only way you're going to find Tower of God is if you just randomly stop. Like, if, you, if webtoon is the only, like, media you look through... The only way you're going to find Tower of God is if you just, like, randomly stumble upon it. That's true. Like, yeah. via, like, just clicking, I don't know, well, like, clicking without looking anywhere. Well, you saw like, what I, I sent I, you, I right? can't find it when I'm actively looking for it. You, you saw what I sent you with the, the ads I was getting? Uh, Yeah, yeah, the mobile game. Yeah, so at this point, I think It seems like the mobile will... game's kind of popping off a little bit. Yeah, it's like not some huge, people huge, but... We'll try and, like, search it up now. Yeah, but then again, like, so why doesn't Webtoon capitalize on that? So why don't I see Tower of God up here if, yeah. they, if they're this successful? It's, it's the same thing, a- It Adrian, makes no sense. Adrian, it's the same thing with Twitch and my channel. Why don't they promote me? Why do they shadow yeah. ban me? I don't know. They're stupid. That's the answer. Crazy, dude. I know. I feel as wrong as SIU is. They're still showing down to earth. They've been like pumping that thing up since day one. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. You know, I saw ads for that in the subway. That shit was crazy. Yeah. So many ads for that thing. Yeah, it only has 154 ads. chapters. How many chapters does Tower of God have? Like a million? Come on, man. <laughs> wow. Tower of God is like the Korean One Piece, bro. How many streams I got on my Twitch channel? Over 2,000. Yeah. And Webtoon hasn't promoted you. These guys are crazy, yo. I can't believe this shit. Yeah, Twitch is fucking crazy. 
Sorry, I, I just go on Webtoon and I get tilted just when I see the front page. It's such a mess of just like a bunch of things. I, I, I need to put a little disclaimer, though. It's nothing against the other authors and stuff like that. I'm sure they work really hard, but it's like... Fuck them. We they, love Tower you of can, God. You can see they're doing Tower of God dirty. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> they're, they're clearly doing Tower of God dirty. It seems the top like master? Webtoon has, has a taste for like romance. So people are just writing romance just to get on the front page is what it feels like. Damn. Or like you know, romancy type stuff. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm looking course. at the front page and every single front page has like a guy and a girl hugging each other. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, wow. It's like, okay, well, this is clearly a romance. Or two dudes. That's what's oh, up. Oh, shit. We getting progressive up in here. The boys next door. Yeah. I got to read that one later. Oh, my God. Anyways. Huh. I, I didn't even finish the, the blog post. Let me keep reading <laughs> and then we'll, we'll, we'll end this. Yeah. Sorry. Um, all right. These days when I'm alone, I feel depressed. So I take time. Ta- <laughs> we we're just talking about Same. depression. <laughs> so I, I take time for walks in a park or working outside. Where hey, why I don't you go? try that? Where do I do that every day? Oh my oh. God. Oh, wait, yeah, you're right. You do. We jog. <clears throat> and I right, work out in the gym. The weather's nice and it's uh, a good cha- change of pace, but seals pollution problem. It's pretty intense. Don't visit Korea in the spring. Winds from China bring over micro dust that just clogs your systems. Not too bad in the rural area, but Seoul is just hit. Is hit. Uh, the worst is hit by it. Worst by it. Okay. You know what's crazy? Yeah, that, that's, I, that's weird to me. Yeah, I actually heard microplastics are in fetuses now. They're everywhere. We have them too. Which is ridiculous. That's actually so bad. Yeah, it's just something that I live with now. Oh boy! Thank you, also, capitalism. that in addition to that, we also have lead everywhere because people used to put lead in our gas, and lead is like known to cause brain problems. What the? Fuck? So people think there's like a global like mental re- reduction mental de- just because de- of the fact that like yeah, that lead is just like so spread out through the air and everything oh from like God. it being in gas and. And everything else too. I mean, like lead pipes and everything. Like we just don't regulate lead that much, and it takes such a small amount for it to have an effect on you. Wow. So, yep, yeah, food for thought, I guess. Jesus. Things to make you feel like shit. Yo, just like my series, Dark Dimension TikToks on YouTube. Yeah. All right, let me finish this up. Um, I'm thinking about going back out to the countryside for my health. Aha! Uh-huh. Prices in Seoul are too expensive. Yo, too. yo, you know what I'm thinking of doing for my health? Quitting my job. I haven't done it yet. Yeah, I wish. We have several posts on SIU's income. Please use the search function. Google it. ETC. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this week's chapters. Have a good week. Stay healthy. And I hope uh, to see you next week. Thank you. Hey, pretty cool. Pretty nice blog post. So, this is where we are now on chapter, or we are seeing chapter 248. So, the holy hairline. Would you like to keep going? Uh, let's hold off. It's it's too late. Yeah, I agree. unfortunately. Yeah, even if you want I'm down to, to read another one, it's just to... too late. Yeah, I'm a little tired, honestly, too. So it's good that we're gonna stop here. But anyway, yeah, for those watching, it's 1:30 in the morning. Yeah, we always do this shit late as fuck. Um, but yeah, and I'm also fucking exhausted. Like I'm I'm struggling to like stay awake, even though I'm not gonna go to bed for like another hour or so. Mm-hmm. But anyway. Yes, that's going to be it. So, Hairline, do you have any lasting parting words of great wisdom to impart on the fans as the boy next door? Uh, no, that's it for me. I've ranted enough. With okay, the cool. Webtoon. Yeah, for me, I'm pretty exhausted, so I'll just keep the questions to maybe next time if I, if I remember them or not. But anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed the updated tier list. I hope everyone enjoyed the readings. And... I hope to see everyone, God willing, or Tower of God willing, next week on Monday. And we stream this every week, live, on Mondays, obviously, at Twitch TV slash Technics channel. And if you miss it, because if you're sick, dying, or dead, and there's no other excuse I will accept, you can view it on a delay at youtube.com slash Technics. So that's going to be it from us, and we hope everyone enjoyed. Eee!